What's going on guys? My name is Jerry Farley. I'm a freelance graphic designer and I just kind of want to talk to you guys about what inspired me to get into uh, graphic design. Um, as a kid, I always had a huge imagination. I'm sure like some of you. Um, and from that point is where it kind of stemmed into the graphic design field. Um, I always saw myself doing, uh, you know, huge conferences while I'm standing in front of hundreds of thousands of people and uh, giving speeches. I've always saw myself doing big things, but it was always with my imagination. I always wondered how I was going to bring that to life. And so uh, I remember back in 2013 where I was selling cars at Wolf Chase Toyota back in Memphis, Tennessee. And uh, it was a friend of mine that was right in front of me that was designing a website. And I started to catch on to the little things that he was doing, but I also knew that a lot of the things that he was doing was not in the proper place. Like It was something in me that was just urging and say, hey, bro, that doesn't fit, or that doesn't fit, or that doesn't fit. Uh, but even when I did speak to him and did say something, he was like, man, you don't know anything about graphic design, stay in your lane. And so that kind of was a challenge to me to learn graphic design. So I ended up buying my first laptop for $600, and I started diving into Photoshop. Immediately loved it. Um, I didn't have cable at the time. I moved into my first apartment around this time. I didn't have cable. My apartment had its own Wi-Fi. Like the whole apartment complex had its own Wi-Fi. It was slow, but it had its own Wi-Fi. Um, I didn't, like I said, I didn't have cable on my own Wi-Fi. I didn't have any furniture. It was just a big three, four channels on my TV and my laptop. And so I started YouTubing a lot, and I was just listening to different jazz music as I would go along. And so uh, for the first two years of me learning graphic design, uh, I stumbled across so many different techniques that I can utilize and I actually start to feel my imagination coming to life. So you can tell me your vision for your brand, but it's my imagination to start piecing everything together and it just inspired me to go ahead and create something on a laptop. And so I remember one day uh, I was walking into Best Buy because my computer started to move super slow and the technician that I would take it to was telling me, man, you have to use another laptop because the graphics that you're using, the 3D rendering and so forth, and say, you're burning through your laptop. Your laptop is not designed to handle that. Um, so I decided to purchase another laptop. The funny story about that purchase was I was walking into Best Buy and I had maybe a week, maybe a week and a half left before my rent car note and insurance was due. Um, uh, well, not insurance, I'm sorry, my rent car note my lights were due and so i ended up walking into best buy and i was getting ready to trade my laptop in and the lady said yeah you know mr farley we can give you a laptop value about 58 bucks and we can subtract that from your next purchase you want me to give you my laptop for 58 dollars no so i ended up going back over to the apple department and of course their laptop that i needed with the 3d graphics was like two grand and some change so i ended up choosing an asus asus i ended up choosing an asus computer an asus laptop that was around 1200 bucks which was all i had in my bank account so i ended up walking out of there with a dollar and 68 cent left to my name and that's when i realized how passionate i was about graphics because i was willing to spend my last to create something that I started to fall in love with. Um, but the one thing that led me to make that purchase was I was walking out, getting ready to just say, ah, I keep what I got. And there was a kid that walked in talking to his mom and the kid goes, mom, can I really do anything I want in my life? And the mom says, yes, son, you just gotta make the sacrifices. So to me, I made an irresponsible sacrifice that happens to be the best irresponsible decision I ever made in my life. So I always tell anybody, like, whatever, regardless of what you want to do with your life, regardless of your passion in your life, just make those sacrifices. Even if they are irresponsible and you truly feel in your heart that that's what you want to do, make that sacrifice. And that's the reason why I'm certain that being a freelance graphic designer, creative director is something that I definitely want to do. The vision, the imagination, the entire picture that I have for my life has everything to do with graphic design. So, uh... That's my story, man, and that's why I'm here. Look forward to hearing y'all. Thank you.